So, in the full page rectifier, it is going to eliminate the two disadvantages in the previous circuit what we saw. That is, in the half wave rectifier and also the center tap full wave rectifier, there was two major disadvantages. To recall it, if, uh, in the half wave rectifier, you were able to convert, con convert only one half of full cycle was rectified. This is a major disadvantage in the half air rectifier. The second one is output voltage was half of secondary voltage of transformer. So these two disadvantages, uh, the first one you can see with the half wave rectifier because only one half of this was conducted and in the second center tapped uh, circuit you can see the how the voltage output voltage was a half of the secondary voltage. So to overcome this, there is a new design which was named as the full bridge con rectifier that will uh, be you that can uh, overcome these two disadvantages. So let's see how does it work. So let me see the diagram. So I, uh, for instance, let me design the diagram in this way. I've been given with an input, input which is an AC. I'm giving to the transformer. Here I'm not going to use uh, the center tap. It's a normal transformer. Uh, probably either it is step down or step up, depending upon what I need. Okay, and uh, this is the transformer secondary and that is a transformer primary. So I will take it as the input as uh, V uh, primary as the input and I am getting that uh, this is the secondary. So secondary Vs can be represented as in the future I will say it as Vm sin omega t. Okay, so now I have this and I have a load and I have a load, a resistive load where it has a terminal, so let me mark the terminal as A and B is given to me. This is my resistive load. So this is RL, my resistive load. And my objective is I have an AC, I want to convert it to DC. And how do I prove it? In AC, in AC, during the first half cycle, I can assume that my phase was somewhere here and the neutral is here. And then during the second half cycle, the phase will come to this, this point and neutral goes here. There is an interchange. But just because of this, it is an AC. Now I want to convert it to a DC. So across my load terminal, across my load terminal. So, so whatever it happens, both in the first half cycle, both in the first half cycle, my current direction should be from a to B and also in the second half cycle my current direction should be from A to B only then it will be termed as a DC supply we have rectified to a DC okay now let us uh, put a um, circuit use the diodes so that how uh, we can utilize it and also I have to remember I have to uh, overcome these two disadvantages both the half cycle I have to convert I mean, to DC and also the output voltage should be as same as the secondary. It should not be, it will be lowered. Okay. So in that case, what I'm doing, I'm going to use a uh, diode. Okay. I'm going to con uh, use a diode here. So I'm using a diode. So for the first conduction, I'm using one diode so that my current can travel. Uh, that is, I will keep my anode to the higher level so because in the first uh, half cycle phase is here so it will go through this A conduct and the, now the current direction goes from A to B now the current direction goes from A to B and when it comes to B then I need to connect I am going to use another diode like this so that my B or uh, this anode the B point axis and I'm going to anode for this second diode D2 so this will be D1 
as anode now anode is also again connected to the phase and the second the second diode's cathode is connected to the neutral side okay so if i say if i take my waveform the input side the first of cycle is this so it got conducted and for the first of cycle the output voltage i got it here because it can since it conducted the output voltage is reflected so it is from 0 to pi and this is also from 0 to pi and we can remember since it is not center tapped the whatever the value when for the input side i had that is the uh, secondary side whatever whatever i had the same in the dc also comes so vm okay now as the second of cycle starts the second of cycle starts from pi to to pi this is the second of cycle so I'm from pi to to pi what happens the primary uh, that is sorry then uh, phase and the neutral interchange so now even in the secondary side this becomes phase and here it becomes neutral now the current direction so usually the current direction was like this the first off now the current direction is going to be like this in the reverse so it is obvious that my d2 will not conduct because it is in the reverse direction and also a d1 cannot conduct so because it is also in the reverse direction but i want the voltage to appear in the load there should be a conduction but i cannot do anything with the d1 and d2 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a new path a new path where i'm going to allow the current to flow through rl in the direction as the previous that is from a to b so i'm going to set a new path so let me say i'm uh, to set a new path i'm going to track i am going to put a new track here like this i am going to use a new diode here so that that diode also be fixed as such that the anode is kept connected to the face and it will be given to the point a okay so now it goes now you can see the current is actually going to be the same from a to b again is going to be the a to b so return path if you check the return path the current will come the current will come here but though d2 can conduct it will not go because it has to go to the neutral point it has to go to the neutral point it cannot come to the face again so what happens i have to again give a give a another path so that i will fix another diode that diode is also meant to conduct so it will also be fixed as a forward conduction and i'll extend my track to connect it to or i'll put it i'll extend my track connected to this point okay so this there are two more diodes included this is d3 and d4 so now the second off cycle is also conducted but since the direction for this rl is going same the current direction for the rl is also same the voltage is appearing the second off cycle is also conducted second off cycle is also conducted from phi to 2 pi it is conducted happy so now you have conducted uh, both the half cycles and you can also remember there is no center tapped in this so that is very easy you get an full output so two disadvantages right right so this is how the circuit works so if you see the circuit diagram in the books uh, it will be quite given in a different way may, uh, to show uh, because this looks quite messy so um, that will be in the book it will be shown very clearly okay now that is all that is all, that is also right circuit this is also right circuit but this is for understanding okay so if you go through this you will understand why i am using four diodes for this full bridge rectifier 
and and why these diodes are connected in this direction so that you are out uh, so, so that you get an output or not okay so uh, i taught you in this way because you need not memorize any circuit diagram you you should know how to design it how the uh, current uh, your ultimate aim is to keep your you keep your current directions same both in half cycle so you can see here with the first half cycle the first half that is a positive half cycle also the current directions from a to b and then the negative half cycle your direction was also from a to b so you have converted your bidirectional signal to an unidirectional that's why you got a dc right so this is your bridge rectifier so in the bridge rectifier you can uh, you can easily convert uh, the ac signals from both the half cycle to a uh, dc and also you can keep the voltage level of the secondary as same so now your disadvantage both the disadvantages have been eliminated that is a greater advantages of using your uh, full bridge rectifier so uh there is only uh, one uh, disadvantage but uh, but still that disadvantage is not um, been considered because uh, use that is over the disadvantage is you are using four diodes because in center tab you use only two diodes but here you have to use four diodes but uh, seeing to the cost of the diodes or the uh, power out you know, that is a power loss due to the diodes is not much um, bigger so this those uh, disadvantage can be eliminated okay so go through this uh, this will be helpful for you to understand both the um, different types of uh, rectifiers that you have seen in the next lecture we will see how to derive the efficiency um, of this a uh, full wave rectifier so for the full wave uh, center tapped and also for the uh, bridge rectifier you have the same kind of a derivation only thing is you should note the value of vs vs what is the secondary voltage how you are going to use it in the uh, problems okay thank you